tal amigos y amigas de Trail Running Review? Estoy aquí en la ceremonia de entrega de premios de la Trans Gran Canaria con la tercera clasificada de la Classic Emma Stewart. Emma, how do you feel today? Brilliant, yeah, no, I'm really, really pleased with the result. Um, amazing race, what a stunning race it is. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really happy that it kind of played out for me and I'm really, really happy with third place, really happy. Bueno, me dice que he disfrutado mucho de la carrera y que está súper contenta con la tercera posición. Me ha dicho fuera de cámara, di todo lo que tenía, así que no se puede pedir más. So, Emma, um, I, was, I was asking you before the interview, Uh, what's harder, the Trans Grand Canaria this year on the, or the Tour de Giants? I still think Tour de Giants is a little bit harder because it's a lot longer. <laughs> so, so by the time you finish Trans Grand Canaria, you are one third of the way through Tour de Giants. So, so crazy. <laughs> it is crazy, yes. Yeah. So, um, and there's a little bit more elevation in Tour mm -hmm. de Giants as well. But yeah, Trans Grand Canaria, amazing race for the length that it is. <laughs> Bueno, le he preguntado fuera de cámaras eh, sobre qué era más duro la Trans Gran Canaria este año que Tour de Jans. Ganó la Tour de Jans, eh, así que me lo puedo comparar y me ha dicho que Tour de Jans más dura, pero por kilómetros y horas, sino no tanto por el desnivel o el recorrido, que también es bastante eh, duro esta Trans Gran Canaria. So, um, you were um, not in the top three even uh, after, uh, I don't know, half of the course or something like that. And then, uh, when did you realize that you were in third position? Um, just after Tejeda, mm -hmm. so um, my support was Marco de Gasperi, yeah. and he had said that um, Azara and um, uh, Claudia were running together and pushing quite hard, um, and he said that maybe one of them may not finish. So uh, yeah, so just after Tejeda, on just before you start to climb up, um, okay. he passed me on the road and he said, "Azara has pulled out. You're in third," mm -hmm. and I was like. Whoa, <laughs> crazy. So then it's just a matter of, you know, keep go just keep going, just mm -hmm. keep going and, and finish. Were you scared, like, uh, from the girls behind you? All the time. Even, <laughs> even on the last de descent on the riverbed, mm -hmm. I was trying to find out where fourth lady was, but nobody could tell me. So I just had to keep running and kept running. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bueno, le he preguntado que ella estuvo casi siempre controlando las posiciones de cabeza, pero nunca estuvo en las en posiciones de podio y fue hasta después de Tejeda cuando eh, Marco de Gasperi, eh, subiendo hacia la dirección hacia el Roque, eh, hay un tramo de carretera donde puedes coincidir con los atletas, y le comentó que iba tercera, que Azara se había retirado la carrera, entonces pasó a formar ese cerrando el podio. Sí que es cierto que por detrás nunca hubo una diferencia extrema, así que siempre me dijo que estaba eh, preocupada por quién venía detrás, pero obviamente la gente pues, muchas veces no sabe quién viene detrás. So, Emma, uh, where do you think is uh, the most... Two, two questions. The most beautiful part of the race and then the most difficult part of the race. Okay, the most beautiful is definitely the little section just before Rock and Ublo. Mm -hmm. The view is amazing. It is beautiful and the, the trail running is beautiful. Um, the most difficult part, El Barranco. El Barranco, eh? <laughs> yeah, yes, very difficult. Mm -hmm. I mean, I must have kicked a thousand rocks. It's so rocky and horrible. <laughs> and, and especially at the end of 120 kilometers, mm -hmm. it's really difficult. Bueno, le pregunto eh, la parte más bonita. Nos dijo que bajando del Roque Nublo había mucha niebla, pero cuando pasó ella yo creo que se empezó a abrir. Y la parte más dura, el barranco final, y no es la única que nos lo dice, así que me dice que golpeó muchas piedras eh, eh, con las zapatillas. So, Emma, last question. Uh, what shoes did you pick for this race? So, I wore the Scarpa Spin Infinities, um, which I have on at the moment because I love them. They're my favorite shoe. Mm -hmm. They are fantastic for ultra running they're super cushioned they're quite wide fitting for me so they fit my toes nicely yeah super comfortable no blisters i do have a sore toe from kicking a thousand rocks <laughs> in, <the barranco. laughs> in, el, in el branco um but aside from that yeah really good yeah uh, did you change uh, shoes during the race no changing no cha no i didn't change my shoes i changed my socks in right. tonte because it was starting to get a bit hot and my mm -hmm. feet uh, don't really like when it's hot, so I changed my socks, but no, didn't change my shoes. Bueno, usó las Scarpa eh, Spin Infinity, la zapatilla más destinada a la larga distancia que hemos visto en muchos atletas, incluso también en UTMB. Eh, suela Vibram, algo más de volumen en las zapatillas, que le encantan, y no se las cambió en 
en todo el recorrido, solo cambió de calcetines por un tema de que hacía calor y bueno, pues sus pies dice que sufren más con el calor. Thank you so much, Emma. We'll see you around for sure. Thank you very much.